Let me say this. I understand all of these women empowerment movements have the right intentions. But now it has become way too far gone. Way off course. It's the point now, ladies, to where men are afraid to even speak to us. Men don't even want to give us damn compliments because they are in fear of being me too They are in fear of getting charges brought up against them. Yet, yet, ladies, we are the main ones telling men, y'all need to be chasing us. Teaching women, men are supposed to be chasing us. We are the prize. The man goes after you. The man approaches you. The man pursues you. But y'all have made it to where pursuing a woman can be dangerous. Speaking to a woman can cost you your whole career. Giving a woman a harmless compliment can end a, a man, can end his whole life. So while I understand the feminist movement, the Me Too movement, all these different movements, right, that were intended to help us women, to protect us, to give us a voice, to give us a sense of power and all of that, I understand that it was supposed to be doing us good, but we have taken it way too far. A man can't even say hello to you without you saying that he's harassing you. A man can even say, oh, I like your dress without you feeling like he's actually harassing you. Yet we live in this world where these women, young girls, are being conditioned to expect for a man to give them a compliment, for a man to go after her. This is what pisses me off, the hypocrisy of it all, the double talk, the double standard. It's hurting our relationships, ladies. And what's really crazy is this. We've, we've gone so far left with these movements to the point where when women actually do have legit claims, y'all water those women down and drown them out because we have so many women out here that are making something out of nothing. So for example, you may have a woman that is legitimately being actually harassed at work. Her boss all day, every day. Oh, I like your tits. Oh, I like that ass. Oh, I would love for you to sit on my face. She can legit have a situation like that going on at work. That she's wanting to voice. That she's wanting to shed light on. But because we have so many other women out here that have saw this movement and it's just like running with it and going overboard with it. And they're saying that they're being actually harassed. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. They're being actually harassed because their boss or the, their co-workers said, oh, I, I really like your high heels today. I really feel like um, it helps to accentuate your, your cap. I really like your, your lipstick. I really like your eyeshadow today. It really brightens up your face and you know, oh, he's harassing me. No more of this, me too. Ladies, let me tell y'all this. I'm a relationship coach, right? So I have men constantly come to me, right? And if you're new to my channel, my channel is Danica Marie Dope Discussions. Okay, you should indeed subscribe 
And I want to let you guys know this. Majority of my platform is majority male, okay? It's majority male on my platform. I think it's like 95% male, right? And so they're coming to me, you know, seeking this advice coming from a woman's perspective. And I've had countless men say, hey, Danica, I would love to uh, pursue a woman. I would love to get to know this woman better, but I'm afraid of disrespecting her or offending her or making her feel awkward or uncomfortable by giving her a compliment by talking to her. And I think, and this just like really blew my mind to the point where I'm like, whoa, we got to speak on this a little bit more and make an actual video about this so that maybe hopefully more women can come into contact with these words and shed a light on the kind of climate that we are creating for our dating options, for our relationships, you know, for us getting pursued by men. A lot of us desire to be married, to be settled down, to start our families, to have solid relationships. And we can't even get there, ladies, if the men are feeling afraid to even say a word to us to even speak to us, to even give a harmless compliment, they're afraid of even doing that. So how in the hell, ladies, are we supposed to get married? How in the hell, ladies, are we supposed to get into relationships? How are we supposed to be building families if we don't even have men that want to take initiative based upon the climate of today's world? Look at what we have created, ladies. We've taken something that was supposed to help us, that was supposed to be able to shed light on the injustices of women, to empower us, to give us a voice, to give us strength, and all of these different things that are great things that women should have. But we've taken it, ladies. And we've turned it into a damn monster that is working against us. So on one end, we want men to treat us equally, right? Hear me out. Hear me out. Hold on. On one end, we have this, this, this urge, this desire to be equal as men, be treated equally as men, right? Anything a man can do, I can do. And then on the flip side, it's like, well, I need the men to treat me like a dainty little flower. I need men to treat me like a little pretty princess. I need men to chase me because after all, women don't chase men. After all, men are the more powerful force. Men are the more masculine, manly. Which one is it? If we're, if we're really going to be equal out here, ladies, shouldn't you? Be able to also chase the man? Shouldn't you be treating him with the same kind of actions? That's that double talking, that hypocrisy I'm talking about. On another end. Don't treat me like a piece of meat. Don't treat me like this. Don't treat me like that. I am a woman. You respect me. You do this. You come to me directly. You come to me. But then y'all are the same ones talking about how the man is supposed to chase you. Don't y'all know chasing when you really boil it down, it can translate into a man going overboard with his pursuit of you. That's really what chasing is. Y'all are not saying, 
uh, a man should pursue me. Y'all are saying a man should chase me. But then on the same end, y'all would view that man chasing you as harassment. Make it make sense. Do you want to be harassed or not? But see, this is that double standard. This is that hypocrisy. This is that double talk that I'm talking about. And this is going to be real uncomfortable, but I'm going to say it anyway. See, the conclusion that I have reached is a lot of women, we don't mind. And this is going to be real uncomfortable. So brace yourself. Sis. A lot of us women, we don't mind being harassed. It just has to be by the men that we actually want. And to me, that's bull ass. If you're going to say this and make this a rule, make it a rule across the board. Don't say, oh, don't sexually harass me. But you can sexually harass me. If I like you, if I think you're sexy too, make it make sense, ladies. So y'all don't mind the men that y'all really like. Hold up. Y'all don't mind the men that y'all really like and y'all really want and y'all really find attractive. Y'all don't mind him saying, oh, nice shape. Oh, your figure looks awesome in that dress. You're really hugging those curves. Oh, those lips. Oh, your lips are so beautiful. Don't mind it then. Oh, your eyes. Your eyes are so sexy. You don't mind it then. No movements to be had then. Hold up. But let a man not be what you want. Oh, then you're in an uproar. And all he did was say, uh, like your dress. All he said was, hello. He's harassing me. He says hello to me every day. I'm sick of it. It's harassment. I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna leave that there. Ladies, come here. We are doing ourselves a major disservice. Uh, at first, we had the right idea. We really did. We had the right idea, the right mindset, the right intentions. But we are blocking our blessings now. There could really be men out there that would be great companions for us, great husbands for us, great boyfriends for us. But because we have created this monster of a movement that was intended to help us, but now it's created all of these boundaries and barriers between us and the men. They don't even want, they don't even, they, they feel like they can't. Not that they don't want to. They feel like they can't even quote unquote chase us. <sighs> Let's say this, you guys. We have got to stop making monsters of movements. Keep them for what they are originally supposed to be for. If they're supposed to be to protect women from real danger, from real predators, keep it at that. Don't start making every little thing a crime. Every compliment is a crime. Every pursuit of a man is a crime. Every, everything is a crime. 
And what's really scary, ladies, is that we have weaponized these movements so much so to the point where if a man did have our consent, again, very uncomfortable. Hold on. This is going to get really uncomfortable, but this is what we do on Tanika Marie Dope Discussions. All right. Even the men that we did give our consent to, it's to the point now, ladies, where years later, we can turn around and tell the world that this man did some kind of harm to us. This man forced himself on us. This man actually harassed us. This man hurt us. And it's like, none of that happened. But we can say that it, that it happened because now we have these, these movements that we can use as weapons of mass destruction, of man destruction. So we have to do better, you guys. We really do. Let's really start analyzing the things that we are claiming, the allegations. Let's really peel back the layers and see, is this really qualified? Is this really worthy of blowing up and making a big deal about because he said he liked my calf muscle? Is it really that serious because he said he liked my dress? Is it really that serious because he said, hey, nice shape? Is it? Or is it the fact that maybe I'm just not wanting to hear that from that type of man? Ooh. Maybe if he was richer, I wouldn't mind. Maybe if he was taller, I wouldn't mind. Maybe if he was more attractive, I wouldn't mind. Again, uncomfortable. Just something for you to sip on. My name is Anika Marie. I love y'all. I respect y'all. I, I mean no harm, okay? Um, I just got to go there sometimes. Something I have to analyze. Something I have to look at, you know? Because like I said, I had a guy that recently came to me and he's like, look, Danica, I really like her. I just, I'm afraid to approach her. What should I do? Any tips? And this is a tip for the, for the fellas out there. Um, and I don't know if I addressed this previously or not, but I'm going to go ahead and, and say it again if I did it. Um, fellas, when it comes to giving women compliments or pursuing women, in this climate, I would just strongly suggest you guys just to give some kind of disclaimer. I know that's crazy, but you got to give a disclaimer nowadays. You really have to say, hey, I don't mean to be rude. I don't mean to make you uncomfortable. I don't mean to be too forward. I don't mean to offend you. I don't mean to disrespect you or cause you any alarm in any kind of way. But I just want to say, you know, you look beautiful today. You got to say all of that before you give a compliment. Fellas, you got to cover all grounds, okay? And what this will do, hopefully, is to put it into a woman's mind that, hey, he's not a creep. Because obviously he's not trying to be creepy or, you know, anything like that because he acknowledged the fact that he's not trying to be, you know, he understands that it's a lot of dudes out here, a lot of guys out here that are creeps. And he wants to let me know. He wants to clarify for me that he's not that he just wanted to genuinely give a harmless compliment. All right. So it, it can put women at ease a little bit more by you just giving that disclaimer, like, Hey, I don't mean to be too forward. I don't mean to, you know, be disrespectful or offend you or anything, but nice dress. Just and see where it goes. Just see how it goes. But that's what that's what we got to deal with today, fellas. So sorry, sorry. All right. But I gotta go, y'all. Much love, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about this video down in the comments below. And I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. My name is Danica Marie. Feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.